Hi everybody, it's Jenny here from Angel Handmade Paper Craft. Today I am working with an, a digital stamp from the Paper Shelter. This one is called Goalkeeper. This one I have actually created for a friend of mine whose son was turning 16. Um, he is a soccer player and he is actually a goalie, so this stamp was absolutely perfect for him. When you purchase this digital stamp, you actually receive uh, digital paper as well. So that's the paper that I was showing you earlier. Um, I've printed the image out onto some Express It blending card and um, what you're seeing just there was me just writing the child's uh, player number on the front of his shirt. You can't really see it in this video because it is so small but you can see it on the image which is pretty cool. So yeah, as I said, I printed him out onto some Express It blending card um, using my brother laser printer, which means that it is Copic safe and it won't bleed, it won't smudge, it won't react whatsoever. So I've done that and now I'm colouring him up using Copic markers. I did receive all of the colours from the friend so that I could match him up perfectly. And this card is absolutely gorgeous when it's done and um, the child is very happy with it. So <laughs> that makes me happy. All right, so I'm just working my way through colouring the image up. Just adding a few details into his hair giving it a nice flicking motion. He does have a blondy brown hair, so I've done that. And now we're gonna work go around. I'm just adding some shadowing around him just to bring him out off that, those um, golly nets a little bit. Blending that out, you will find all of the Copic markers that I have used on underneath the, sorry, on my blog post. I will have the link to the blog post underneath the video, so you can check that out there and yeah always have all of those details just coloring the grass up there i'm going through and coloring in all of his uniform like i said as per the colors that were sent to me it's always nice when you get to make a personalized card for someone it just makes it that little extra bit special and that extra little bit fun so you've got you know some somewhere to go towards so i'm working my way through um, I won't be pulling in any more other patterned papers onto this card, just that one digital paper sheet. I do apologise, we've got our maintenance guy here at the moment fixing our gate that was broken from those horrible, horrible storms we had recently. Okay, so just adding in those final details, I needed to bring that grass down a little bit so that it was within that die frame. This is a lawn fawn stitched uh, squares. All right, we're gonna run it through the Sizzix Big Shot and then now we're gonna start putting the card together. So I wanted to use that digital paper. I've, ran, I've created some sentiments uh, just using my computer. Um, obviously I wanted to make sure the card was all personalized for him. So I'm just working out here my layout, what I'm going to do. I decided to grab these uh, grass dies, which are from the My Favourite Things Grassy Fields. And I've just run them through just using some scrap paper. And I'm going to add that to the top of the sentiment just to create that grass. I thought it would just finalise it a little bit. I'm pulling in some black American Crafts cardstock to mat this on. And just working out all the final layers. I'm pretty happy with that. So I've got a Kucha Creations card base here and I'm gonna start adding all of my layers down once I'm happy. Just finalizing everything and making sure it's all perfect before I glue anything down. I'm, I've just taken a photo of it. I like to do that when I'm doing a few layers on the front of a card just so that if I mess it up, I can see what my plan was and put it all back together. Wiping all of those layers down. Popping the sentiment on. I'm using some Helma liquid adhesive. So I'm just wiping off all the excess glue there that's just run behind the grass. Decorating the inside of the card as well. And now I'm going to go in with some Tonic Studios Nouveau Crystal Drops. These are the Glow in the Dark. So I'm using Banana Split, Shocking Pink and Apple Sour. I will have photos at the end of my video so you can see exactly how it glowed in the dark, which is pretty cool. Um, that's my video done. So I thank you all for watching. 
please hit like if you liked this video and if you haven't subscribed please do so so you can see some more of my videos thanks for watching bye